Hello viewers, welcome to Ajayad Math class. Today, we shall simplify the following sort. And I'm going to make reference to my last class on rules of sort. But before I proceed, I'll have to explain some things to you. That is, you have to know the perfect squares from 1 to 100. So, perfect squares are numbers that can easily find the square root. And here we have 1, we have 4, 9, um, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100. So there's a need for us to know these perfect squares. So simplifying the first question, we have this to be, um, simplifying, we need to break this down. That is, we have to look for a perfect squares that can multiply another number to give us 75. And the same thing will be done to others as well. So here we have 75 can be simplified as 25 multiplied by 3, okay, plus 2 root 3 minus 9 times 3. So finding the square root of 25, which is the same thing as saying 5 root 3, that is rule number 1. So I'm going to attach the link to the previous video on rules of sword in the description below. So here we have 2 root 3 is already being simplified minus root 9 is the same thing as saying 3 root 3. So don't forget, let me give you int. And the int here is that when we have 5x plus 2x minus 3x, you know, our variable x is the same all true. So what we just need to do is to add the coefficients together while the variable x remain the same, right? So this is going to be 7x minus 3. So the same thing will be done here. Root 3 will remain the same. So here we are going to have 5 plus 2, 7 minus 3. So here we have 4 root 3. Yeah, and in my second, video, uh, second question, that is question number 2. Yeah, I have root 200 minus root 8. Root 200 can be simplified as root 100 times 2 minus root 4 times 2. And root 100 is the same thing as 10 root 2 minus 2 root 2. So here we can um, add the coefficients together, which is 10 minus 2, and this is going to give me 8 root 2. And lastly, we have this all square root 8 minus root 2 all square. This is the same thing as saying root 8 minus root 2 multiplying itself, which is root 8 minus root 2. So root 8 multiplied by root 8 from the law of um, so that is root a multiplied by root a is going to give me a right so you can check the rule so root 8 multiplied by root 8 is going to give me 8 minus root 8 multiplied by root 2 is going to give me root 16 root 2 multiplied by root 8 also is going to give me negative root 16 while root 2 multiplied by root 2 is going to give me root 4 which is the same thing as true right so here we have 8, square root of 16 is 4, square root of 16 is 4, and square root of 4 is 2. So 8 minus 8, minus 8 minus 4 minus 4 is going to cancel out, which is 0. So finally, my answer is 2. So this is how we are going to implement the rule of sort, which we did.